Endeavor, take air data. Take air data. This is a view of the Space Shuttle Endeavour from the Kennedy Space Center. As it flies in an altitude of 850,000, 8,000 feet. Flying at 1,600 miles per hour. Six minutes to touchdown. Endeavour Houston, you are on energy, approaching the hack. Winds are now 7, peak 12 on the nose, 3, peak 5 from the right. Nominal shoot deploy. Copy all nominal shoot. Five minutes to touchdown of the Space Shuttle Endeavour at the Kennedy Space Center. Endeavour flying at an altitude of 60,000 feet. With that update to the winds at the landing site, the expected uh, speed at touchdown is 222 miles per hour. Endeavour is receiving navigation updates for proper alignment and speed approaching the heading alignment cylinder in front of the runway and adjacent to its extended center line. Commander Mark Polanski taking over control of the Space Shuttle Endeavour to fly around that uh, cylinder, conducting a 210 degree turn a left overhead turn. Sonic booms uh, audible at the landing site. This is a view from the heads up display in the cockpit of the Space Shuttle Endeavour. Three minutes to touchdown. Endeavour flying an altitude of 30,000 feet at 510 miles per hour. Endeavour on at the 180. On at the 180. Pilot Doug Hurley taking a chance to fly the spatial endeavour around the heading alignment cylinder.
Commander Mark Polanski back under uh, control of the Space Shuttle Endeavour, setting up for the final approach at the desired heading, altitude, airspeed, and rate of descent. Endeavour, on at the 90. On at the 90. Two minutes to touchdown, 17,000 feet in altitude. Endeavour flying at 400 miles per hour. Transceivers on Endeavour are interacting with stations on the ground to provide the best available range, elevation, and azimuth. KC runway 15 is in sight. Houston copies, field in sight. One and a half minutes to touchdown. Less than 10,000 feet in altitude remaining. Endeavour's descent rate is 20 times higher and 7 times steeper than a commercial airliner on the final approach. One minute to touchdown. Endeavour's landing gear will be locked down in place at 300 feet in altitude. Thirty seconds to touchdown. The landing gear is down and locked. Landing gear touchdown. Uh, Doug Hurley now deploying the drag chute. And Commander Mark Polanski rotating the nose gear down to the deck. Nose gear touchdown. Endeavour rolling out on runway 15 at the Kennedy Space Center, wrapping up a 6.5 million mile mission. This is the 71st landing at the Kennedy Space Center. Endeavour has completed its 23rd mission and the 127th space shuttle mission. It was the 29th to the International Space Station. Endeavor, welcome home. Congratulations on a superb mission from beginning to end. Very well done. Well, thanks to you and to the whole team. That's what it's all about, and we're happy to be home. Roman, there are no immediate post-landing deltas, and we'll meet you on page 5-3 of the entry checklist. Copy that. We're there. With the completion of the STS-127 mission, Endeavour and her crew have completed two major milestones for the Japanese partner of the International Space Station, topping off the construction of Japan's Kibo Laboratory with the last of three assembly missions, and bringing home Japan's first long-duration station crew member, Koichi Wakata. Glad and clear, Louie. How are you? Wakata spent 138 days in space for this flight. He was a member of three expeditions, the first time a crew member has served on three different expeditions, 18, 19, and 20 on board the International Space Station. He spent 133 days on the actual space station. And that brings his total over three flights to 160 days in space. <laughs> 